Topping your Texas political roundup, news that President Obama would, by executive action, expand background checks for gun owners prompted swift reaction from state leaders this week. Governor Greg Abbott said the state would take every action to protect Texans' gun rights. Asked if that meant the state would file suit, Attorney General Ken Paxton's office said only that his office would be, quote, keeping a close eye on the issue. A Waller County grand jury indicts the trooper who arrested Sandra Bland last summer. Bland was found dead three days later in her jail cell from an apparent suicide. The perjury charge the grand jury handed down against Trooper Brian Encinia stems from the statement he gave at the time of Bland's arrest as to why he needed to pull her out of the car. He said he pulled her out to, quote, further the traffic stop investigation. If convicted, Encinia could face up to a year in jail. And less than a month out from the first in the nation caucus in Iowa, the presidential candidates are running packed schedules there and beyond. As the GOP frontrunner in Iowa, Ted Cruz spent this week stumping in 26 counties there. Closer to home, Marco Rubio held his inaugural Texas rally in Dallas ahead of the state's March 1st primary. I'm Alana Rocha. For the latest on the 2016 campaign trail, the Sandra Bland case, and much more, visit us online at texastribune.org.